Hi, welcome to Mix and Jam, a channel about game development experimentation. Today's project is inspired by the Pikmin franchise. In the game, you command an army of these tiny creatures called Pikmin that help you on your journey by carrying objects back to your ship and fighting a variety of dangerous enemies. I have always admired this game, so I wanted to try to do a simple recreation of the basic gameplay of managing the pigment and carrying objects using the Unity engine. So here are the steps I needed to follow for this recreation. Implement the logic for the navigation for both the Pikmin and interactable objects. Add the behavior to allow the player to command the Pikmin actions. And polish the project with assets, particles, and animations. I've started by importing Jamo, the official 3D character from the channel, into the scene. And as a base for the level, I've made a terrain for the player to explore. Then, I added capsules as placeholders for the Pikmin. In order to make the Pikmin find the most optimal path to follow the player, I added a navmesh agent component to it. An object with a navmesh agent is able to use pathfinding in order to reach its destination. These navmesh agents need a surface that they can walk on and I implemented that by making a nav mesh area in the level. In order for the Pikmin to follow the player, I made it so that the destination of the agents was an empty game object behind the player. Then I tweaked some of the parameters on the agent to make the Pikmin follow the player at a certain speed and stop at a specific distance. I added some simple logic to determine states that define whether the Pikmin are following the player or just waiting around. Next, I needed to interact with all of the Pikmin in the scene. By raycasting from the mouse position to the terrain, we can find out where the player is pointing at. So I created a controller that follows the mouse position and checks within an area to find any idle Pikmin. Since I made a manager that keeps track of all the Pikmin in the scene, I can loop through all of them and check for things like distance and state in order to activate their nav mesh agent. To create more visual feedback of the player's cursor, I've added a line renderer between the player and the mouse position. I've also added a projector that works with the universal render pipeline, made by Coling Loom. To properly place the projection, I made its transform rotate together with the terrain's normal direction. Next. I added something for the Pikmin to interact with, so I added a sphere to represent a fruit in the game. To implement the Pikmin throwing logic, I used the cursor position information and then the DoTween plugin to tween the Pikmin from their origin position to the mouse position. DoTween has a built-in function to animate things in an arc, called DoJump. Additionally, I've downloaded a throw animation from Mixamo and I've also made the Pikmin rotate during the throw. Once the Pikmin is thrown, it checks in an area around it for an interactable object, getting in position if they find one or staying idle if they don't. In case of an interaction, the Pikmin position themselves in a circle around the interactable object based on the number of Pikmin needed to carry that object. Once there are enough Pikmin in position, they need to carry the object to its final destination. In order to do that, we can use the same nav mesh logic present in the Pikmin for the interactable object. So then all I needed to do was to parent all the Pikmin to that object while it travels towards its destination. One of the reasons why Pikmin is so charming is because of its beautiful art, sound, and animation. And for this very reason, I've collaborated with Scruffy. Scruffy is a talented musician and 3D artist that also creates content in YouTube. Not only that, but he's a big fan of the Pikmin series, so this was a perfect combination. Scruffy does amazing videos on video game music and 3D modeling, so please go check out his videos. For this project, Scruffy has prepared several things. A model of a Pikmin based on Jamo's design, models for two types of fruit, the space capsule model, and even the sound effects. I started replacing the previous placeholders with all these great models to get a better sense of the final result. A cool thing about having the Pikmin look robotic was that I was able to add procedural animation to them using the animation rigging package. 
I've used this package before in the Luigi's Mansion episode. The difference here is that I've downloaded an extra constraint for the package called Jiggle Chain that keeps every pivot in place but physically animates the rotations at runtime. A big thanks to Dave Hunt from the Animation Rigging Package team for making me aware of this extra constraint. Since I was using Animation Rigging, I've also prepared a runtime rig that poses Jammo when the player uses the whistle. While in that state, I've also made the character's Y scale shake a little bit. Then, I created a little animation that expands a cylinder to show the area of the whistle. And I've also added particle systems at the top and bottom of it, just like in the game. Another area I polished was the fruit capture with animations for movement, emission color, and particle systems. I've also filled the pigment prefab with tons of particle systems, such as the little light at the leaf when they're idle, the shiny burst when they notice you, and the trail emission when they're jumping. With all of that complete, I added the sound effects that Scruffy provided, and also made a little UI to create more similarity to the game. And as a final touch, I added some post-processing to enhance the prototype's visual. And after a bit of adjustments, this is how it turned out. If you're interested in downloading and checking out the code behind this, there's a link for the project's repository on the description of this video. Mix and Jam is really only possible because of these amazing people helping out on Patreon, and I want to highlight these top tier supporters. If you want to see more videos like this, consider subscribing and sharing this video with friends. Thank you so much for watching.